Hey you guys, the last 10 or 15 minutes, it's really coming down. I had to go back out and do some more. So I added it to this video, but the whole video, it's snowing really good, but really coming down the last 10 or 15 minutes. I hope you guys love it. Peace. Holy moly, you guys. What is crack lacking? I got some rest, I'm feeling good. Even though it's been super busy today, I'm super stoked. It's February 22nd, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. We're gonna take a drive around the lake now because we're getting pretty hammered right now. I can't believe this. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you guys are gonna come up here and have a good time. Please, please have your tire chains with you. I'm pretty sure they will be required, but I'm not 100% sure, but call this phone number 1-800-CALTRANS. And it's really easy to, uh, to get the information you need. It takes just a few seconds. Um, so yeah, call 1-800-CALTRANS, type in the highway number you plan on driving on, and they will tell you the most up-to-date information on the roads and the conditions and uh, what the requirements are. Wow, this is cool. So the reason we're, we're going to go this way around the lake is because we're going to try to avoid people coming into town. So we're going to go the other way. I'm going to turn it off for a second. All right, we're back. Wow, this is great. I'm loving it. Come on, light. You can do it, man. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, light. Wow. time driving out here right now so be very careful when you're up here yeah there's one of the plows what's up mr plow i love these damn snowy days like this look there's some blue sky up there i can't believe that look at that do you guys see that look at that but then it's just uh, just dark That blue sky is gonna be gone in just a second, you guys. While we're at the light, we'll just stare at it and it'll be gone in like seconds. That's how fast this damn weather moves, moves through here. Just give it a second. Oh, it's having a focusing issue. What in the focus is going on here?
we're probably going to have to put on tire chains. I know it's not the most fun thing to do, but it'll keep you safe, or at least give you a much better chance. Wow, that was so cool, man. 
I just love this. I just absolutely love this. snow started a lot later than it was supposed to. It was supposed to start at about 11, the really, really heavy stuff, and it just started maybe like 35, 45 minutes ago. Look at how beautiful Boulder Bay looks right now. Oh, man. Guys, don't we live in just the most beautiful place in here? This is so awesome. those houses. I always point those houses out right there. I want to stay in one of those houses. If any of you want to come up here, honest to goodness, and pitch in for half of, of one of those spots, I'll do it. I'll do it with you. I swear. I will do it. I think they're like, some of them are like two grand a night. <laughs> but if we do it on a weekday, it might be like 1500 So if you guys want to stay for like two nights, or no, well, that would be way too expensive. I can't, I can't do that. But I've paid off over the past seven months a lot of my credit card debt. So I'm willing to go back into a little more debt to stay in one of those places. So let me know. If anyone's interested, we could do that. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. And then we'll have a good time together. We can sit by the fire and, and play in the snow and build snowmen. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm in such a good mood right now. I feel like watching, when I get home, ski school or ski patrol. Do you, do you older people who are my age know, uh, remember those those movies that were on like HBO, Showtime, and Cinemax when those were the only three movie channels? Channel 22, 23, and 24 back in the day? Well, Ski School and Ski Patrol are just awesome movies. They, they always make me feel so good. Look at this guy. See? Now I'm going to give him the hazards to say thank you for pulling aside. You're a good dude. It's very nice of you. That's what you guys want to do up here. It's, it's really not... Um, a contest to see who can get there first even though I make it seem like that a lot it's ultimately about safety and the safest thing to do is if there's someone who's on your tail just pull off at, at the next possible turnout and let them pass in these conditions you never want to speed up for them you never want to speed up for the people who can be like me like a jerk on your tail and I promise you I'm working on it I'm working on it. I really am, guys. Please, please understand. But you never want to speed up for someone like me. You just want to pull out and, and let me pass. And let others pass. Because keep in mind, a lot of us are so used to these conditions after so many years. And a lot of us have the perfect equipment for these roads. So it's a lot easier for us. I'd be willing to bet a lot of you who don't know how to drive on this stuff would probably not do too bad if you have the same equipment I have. The best snow tires out there and a lifted for uh, all, all wheel drive vehicle with a low center of gravity. I know the lift kind of is contradictory to the low center of gravity, but it still is, it still is pretty low. Okay, so we're coming up towards the Big Bear Dam. Look at it, it's snowing, a sleet, it's grapple right now. We're getting grappled. I'm gonna get out and start grappling with this crap right now. I'm gonna give it a double leg takedown or maybe even a single leg and then go to a Dar's choke on this damn stuff. Okay. But yeah, this is called grapple. This is not, well, it could be sleep, but I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's grapple. And if you disagree, I'm gonna have to grapple with it. We're gonna grapple together. Oh my gosh. This gets me excited. I'm telling you, this gets me so excited. And I don't shut up, you guys, so if you wanna hit mute, that might be a smart idea, so you don't have to listen to my dumbass just rambling on, oh, just on and on and on and on. 
but this is happiness for me. This is why I moved up to Big Bear. Oh my God, dude, it's like, I almost just want to cry because it's, it just makes me so happy. For everything that I go through in life and all the pain that I allow myself to feel, this alleviates so much of it. Gosh, this is just spectacular, guys. So look, as you can see, there's more snow over here and we're getting right up near the dam. There's definitely more snow over here, maybe an inch more than my house, but usually it'll be a couple more inches. It just sucks that there's not really a, a hotel over here, like right over here. You can rent some Airbnbs close by. Okay, look, so this is why it's so foggy right here. There's a big opening past the dam where the mountain opens up. So all the clouds come rolling through right there and you can't see a damn thing through there. This is what you guys are gonna be driving through the whole time, you guys, I am so sorry. I would love it, but I know this is scary. Look, you guys keep on going straight. Well, you're coming from straight ahead. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Dude, you guys, you guys be safe out there. You guys be safe. Holy smokes. Change required on that sign. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking happy right now. I wish I knew how to shut up just for two seconds. It's crazy when I'm not doing these videos, you guys, I don't talk at all. I'm like a mute. But I love you guys so much and you guys are so nice to me. I just feel so comfortable with you all. So right for a little bit here on the right hand side, we're going to be driving past the lake. And I love it when you can't see it like this. Because it's right here. You can't see it. That is so sweet. Freaking sweet, bro. For all my snowboard and ski friends, I'm happy for you guys to get some, some snow from the heavens. <coughs> I know a lot of people get bummed out about the so-called man-made snow, but Big Bear used to do commercials years ago, which, which made me realize that it's not a big deal. So basically, they would say, well, you shouldn't have a problem with us making snow with our snow machines, and, and don't feel bad if it's not coming from the sky. Because when you put water in your ice tray and, 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 and put your ice tray in the freezer, is that fake ice when you take it out? And I was like, huh, that's a good point. <laughs> it's not fake ice. That's real ice. So yeah, so that's essentially what they're doing. They're just, they're just putting the water in the freezer for us and making snow. Yeah. I'm trying to focus on the lake over there to the right, but yeah, you can't see any of it. This is just so cool. Just incredible. And the town we're gonna to be heading into right up here is gonna be Fawn Skin. Wow, you can't see anything. This is what I'm talking about, man. This looks fast. I'm going 35 miles an hour. That's the speed limit on this road. And I know you're, just, you're supposed to drive the speed that is safest for the conditions. Whatever is safest for what these conditions are. And I'm totally okay, you guys. I've, I've been doing this for many, many years. Accidents happen in normal conditions too. I usually drive a little bit faster than this when it's when there's no snow. So I'm just trying to be, you know, I don't want anyone to feel like I'm a total douchebag or a jerk for how I drive. I really do care. I really do. I'm trying to think of a good analogy, <laughs> but I can't. You gotta have good brains to think quickly like that. This is just awesome. And you can see I'm taking the whole road too, just to, to be as safe as I possibly can. And I think that's a good idea. Okay, here's the lake. Oh yeah, that is so badass. Oh man. Oh man. But you see how it was a lot thicker, heavier snow? 
or grapple coming down over by the dam, and the, the, the further away from, from the dam we go, the less it comes down. It's just awesome how that happens, man. Anyway. This guy's excited. I wish I had other things in life that made me this happy. Like trying to find a damn girlfriend or something. But I'm always working, it just wouldn't be fair. I wouldn't be able to spend that much time. So that's kind of an issue for me because I want to get married eventually. I want to have kids and enjoy this life and enjoy raising somebody. Like I, man, like that's the greatest gift we're ever given on this earth for children, you guys. And I don't have any yet. Every, every Father's Day when I go to the mailbox, I get nervous. But I've been good so far, but I want to know when I'm gonna have a kid, <laughs> not be surprised. So yeah, Father's Day just make me nervous. I'll get a letter from like an 18 year old saying, yeah, you need to hook your son up here with money for the past 18 years that you weren't there. And I'll be like, dude, I would have been there if you would have told me. I would have been there if you would have told me, bro. I want kids, man. Anyway, we're coming into Fonskin, guys. You want to go the speed limit in Fonskin no matter what. You want to go the speed limit everywhere up here. I'm kind of a bad example sometimes, but you want to make sure that you definitely go the speed limit in Fonskin. Because <laughs> keep in mind, this mountain community, a big way for them to uh, gain fiscal resources is from ticketing people for all sorts of stuff, especially speeding and DUIs. I haven't had a drink since I've lived up here, and I've almost been up here for eight years. I haven't had a drink for almost nine years. I cannot believe that. I just cannot believe that. So we're going 25 right now. Don't blink or we will be through fawn skin without you getting to see anything. Okay, so up here is a good restaurant, North Shore Cafe, right here on the left. It's typically a breakfast place, I believe. Why I say typically is because that's the only time I've ever eaten there. It's for breakfast, so I'm, I don't know if they serve lunch or not. But the breakfast is pretty darn good. weather keeps up you guys I really want it to be heavy so every tree will be just white just plastered in white that's when you know we got really hammered I haven't seen that in a few years to be honest where the trees are just totally white full of snow <laughs> but those are the most incredible snowstorms I mean it transforms the town even more than than this it's a, it's a completely different environment it feels like what my perception of heaven would be because this is happy this happiness for me It's like lighter out there by Baldwin. It always is. It always is. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful lake view. Only place I ever crossed up here was on this turn. It was like my first year here. I was driving a Mercedes ML 500 and I took this turn a little fast and I slid in to that ditch right there. That's the only accident that I, I've ever had up here. I was scared, it felt really bad. It felt a lot worse than it was when I nailed that ditch. I thought I like totaled the car, but it was just a little bit of bumper damage. I've never been in a, like a car accident ever, so I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. I just assume that it's not gonna be fun. Oh, that is so pretty right there. 
guys, this is incredible. Stanfield Cutoff and taking Stanfield Cutoff on to the other side of the lake, and then heading back to the homestead, to Chateau Relaxo, as my friend Jordan called his beautiful place in South Laguna Beach. He texted me today, which is super cool. They have a, they have a five-acre property in South Laguna right next to Three Arch Bay. It's five acres right on the ocean with five houses on their property, one for each kid and then some. It's just... it's. It's unbelievable. I used to spend so much time down there in my late teens, early 20s. I was there every single day because they had their own part of the beach also. This was like the MTV Cribs lifestyle, you guys. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And he actually contacted me today. Hoping that we get a bunch of snow and that he just bought a brand new Dodge Ram to be in these conditions again so he's he's gonna cruise up he's actually the reason i fell in love with this town because they had a magnificent huge vacation home uh, near the big bear dam on a street called uh <clears throat> cove street right on the corner on the lake it was like ten and a half thousand square feet three story just just a magnificent home like just an incredible home it was so cool because every time we would we come up here all he would do is just pick up the phone, call the guy that like, I don't know, looks over the place when when no one's visiting. And then the dude gets everything set up. He turns all the water on, all of this on, sets, fills the fridge up, fills the, like, dude, it was like, guys, it was like celebrity type, type living. It was great. It was great. I really missed that. That was really, really awesome. I remember watching the Lakers and Pacers finals games there. Man, it was so much fun. We'd have tons of kegs over there and uh, some other stuff that I can't really talk about. Beautiful gals. <clears throat> it was awesome. Figuratively. A lot of cars go off this edge right here, so be careful. They really do. I've seen it. Haven't done it, but I've seen it. I've seen a car upside down right here in this ditch right here. You guys got to be super careful out here, man. You guys are very valuable. Your lives are not worth this risk. Drive as slow as you can. And as I said, don't worry about the people behind you. Just just be a little extra courteous. If there's someone on your tail, just pull up, just pull aside and let them by. That's all. Don't get mad at them. Don't get mad at them because then you're gonna stir yourself up and give yourself some unwanted negative energy. Trust me, I, I go through it a lot. But I'm I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to get better at this, you guys. You guys have really done an awful lot for me in terms of helping me to do a 
better job and stay more safe and keep others safe. I know I still have a ways to go. I really know that. And I'm, I'm, I'm cognizant of it, you guys. So please understand I'm trying. Look, there's hardly any snow over here in terms of accumulation compared to the dam, right? in right there it kind of kills the view a little bit but it's still beautiful then over here look at the blue skies at baldwin i told you guys look at that every single time isn't that amazing it's just always like they hardly get any snow on that side of town it's blue skies over there and it's just inundated over here every time in the aftermath video we will do a tour over there too i used to do it almost every drive but I want to make sure that I can get these videos uploaded fairly quickly for you guys. guy from Florida. It's like, what the hell is going on here? I've never seen snow before. <laughs> That's where my dad lives. My dad lives in Florida. cloud right there. You can see the snow coming down now. I love it so much. So guys, please, please have your tire chains with you. Bring a bunch of extra clothing and blankets in your car, extra food and water, enough to last you at least a few days because in these conditions, it can take AAA over 24 hours to get to you up here, guys. No joke. So just be very, very careful. Be vigilant as can be on these roads. And, uh, Make sure you let a couple people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you. It's really important, guys. I don't want anything to happen to you. I know that sounds like a lot of stuff to do, but it's better to be safe than sorry in these conditions. I'm telling you right now. Woohoo! All right, you guys. Take care, okay? 
Peace out. I love you guys. Hey, you know what? You guys, I thought we were going to be done, but it, like 10 minutes later, as I'm trying to upload the video, it really started dumping. I mean, look at this. So we're going to... Wow, this is crazy. This is unbelievable. We're going to head back out for a few more minutes. I can't even see hardly anything. This is great. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Guys, it's really coming down right now. I'm gonna have to do a little clip at the beginning to let you guys know that at the very end is when it's really freaking, I mean, you can't see. This is like, this is almost, almost blizzard conditions. There's a street we're trying to see up here on the right because we're gonna turn down this street right here. Now you can see it, okay, right as you come up to it. This is awesome. Slamming on the brakes for a stop sign. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Perfection. I love it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. I can't believe how hard it's coming down right now. Guys, this is the type of snow that accumulates quickly. So I'm very excited about this. I hope it lasts. I really hope it lasts. Because we're going to do, obviously, some more videos later on tonight. But tomorrow, I'm excited about the aftermath and the time lapse, you guys. I'm excited about that for you guys. Because, uh, well, unfortunately, it's probably going to be the same music as the last time lapse because I don't have many options. But it's really beautiful music, and I hope you guys don't get too upset. It'll be way better with this amount of snow coming down. Oh, my gosh. I am truly excited about this. So I hope you guys aren't upset about the time lapse. As I said, it's going to be the same music that we played last time. It's going to be a little bit longer time lapse. So I'll be able to add another song on there, but those two songs are like my favorite ones for the time lapses. They're just amazing. And we're on Summit Boulevard right now, heading away from Snow Summit. Just gonna turn this on real quick, make it move fast, kind of help it melt some of the snow, or warm up the windshield wipers a little bit. associate Southern California with this. So it's nice to surprise people when they wonder where Big Bear is. So hey, it's in Southern California, dude. This is just craziness. I kind of wish we weren't stuck in traffic, but it is what it is. Everyone's driving safe and I'm happy for them. This is how you guys should be driving up here, to be honest. 
Sometimes, as I said before, I can be a bad example, and I'm, I'm doing the best I can to improve. I'm really not a total douche. Mm -hmm. I'm really not. But this is just unreal right now. Keep me snow. I like it a lot. Take the back streets. We'll go through the village and take the back streets. I know this is a long video, you guys, but as I said, I'll make a little clip at the beginning to tell you guys like the second third of the video, or I don't know, the last 15 minutes are gonna be crazy, crazy. clear sky coming up right there. That's pretty cool. But it's just, wow. I told you guys, you guys can hit the mute button anytime because I know I'm ridiculously annoying sometimes. This is just nutty. I thought I know some of the side streets because we're going to take some of the side streets where we need to go. I hope you guys are happy with this, because I sure am. Oh yeah, people. Seriously, you guys take your time up here. Do not be in any rush to get up here. Give yourself extra time to get here. It's not worth risking your life. Once you're in town, it's not, not as bad, but coming up, up the mountain, you don't want to lose control at all. Up here, at least you'll be safer if something happens. You're not going to fall off a cliff. We're just going to kind of drive a little bit into Big Bear Lake a little more through some of the neighborhoods and then come back around just to give you guys a different perspective. I know with the really heavy snow, it's a totally different perspective anyway, but do you guys remember what I said? I was like, do you see that really heavy snow coming down right as we we basically shut off the video and I said, it's, 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 it's coming our way. That's what we just drove through and we're going to be driving back into it. So I'm really excited about that. It might not look like it, but it's, it's still coming down really good right now. So see everyone's going that way, we're going this way. Because we know where we're going, yo. Yee. I love the, the frontier. I love that place. Okay, so we are on Lakeview and we're gonna be on Lakeview again right here. I'm gonna turn right. Boom shakalaka. It's just right here to the right. I don't know if you guys can really see it. But yeah, guys, it's like just just my luck. It was snowing nice when nicely when we were doing the, this whole video, but it got a lot heavier when when I shut it off, so I hope you guys don't mind a little bit longer video. It's gonna take forever for this darn thing to upload, but that's okay.
this street called Esterly. Oops, I gotta slow down a little bit because we are on a downhill slope, so I wanna make sure we make the turn. so we can see how beautiful that looks right now. This is just great, you guys. I am such a happy camper right now. Hey, doggy, you having fun? Look at the doggy and the mommy. The mommy and the doggy. Oh, mommy was pretty. All right. I'm not a damn chauvinist. I just point out when I see something pretty. Somebody pretty, not something. I didn't mean to say that either. Excuse the news. Got some. Look at all these mountain employees. Super cool, guys. Super cool. So I guess we have like an exchange student program type thing where a bunch of people from all over the world will come out here to work in the winter time and it's super, super cool. That is so cool. And this is what they've been expecting, I can tell you that. Even though it's still not much snow yet. And I, I really hope, I really hope it pans out. But the further we go this way, in a, in a rare type of difference, it's gonna get heavier, guys. Because it's, it looked like that big cell was, was kind of over my area. So hopefully, that will be the case. It'd be fun to go on that roller coaster right now, but it's closed. the frontier now again but on the other side we were on Lakeview which is on the other side of this all right guys so when you're stuck in traffic right here this is how you get all the way to Moon Ridge without having to take Big Bear Boulevard like so instead of turning left here when there's a lot of traffic we're just gonna go straight I hope dude's turning nope yes <laughs> I get so excited. All right, so. Well, yeah, this is awesome. This will be heavily trafficked as well, but once we get up here past the stop sign, that's where everyone just goes to the to, to Big Bear Boulevard because they don't know any different. And I want you guys to save time out here and get to where you need to go in a very reasonable speed. That's a great venue for music, you guys. It is a great venue, the cave. no ski area access, local traffic only. So we're going straight. Snow tornado in front of us. Stuck in the tire, maybe. It's 
This hill I've seen a lot of people get stuck on, so make sure you're going at a decent rate to get up, up to the top and then slow back down. Cruising, bruh. You know the kind, bruh. We just cruising, brother. Oh, shoot, bruh. Okay, so you take that road, this road, Pennsylvania, till it dead ends on Jeffries at the stop sign and turn left on Jeffries and then right on Oak. So that's what we're gonna do, folks. That's what we're gonna do, yo. All right. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is just gorgeous. All right, now we make it right here. Slam on the brakes just to see. It's great, man. This car is amazing with these snow tires, especially. Once wintertime's done, my friend who, who owns a shop up here, I store my snow tires there and he puts on my regular tires just so I don't have to wear these out through the summertime. So it's pretty nice. Okay, we're on Oak and we're going to take Oak all the way till we get to this where it says not a through street. So, you, so this is very easy to remember here. It's called Eureka, but you don't want to go to where it's not a through street. So you turn left here. And then I believe we go to McWinnie, McWinnie, which is at the very end as well. So where it says not a through street, once again, you turn right on McWinnie. to Wren, W-R-E-N. It dead ends at Wren. You want to make a left and then a right on Brownie Lane. And then just take Brownie till you hit Moon Ridge Road. See you guys, we didn't even, we hit one car when the car was coming our, like towards us. So one car passed us, that's it. Usually Big Bear Boulevard will be completely jacked up and then you'll be getting the last laugh because you'll be able to enjoy your vacation and not have to be in trouble. Look at all these people sledding right here. Sweet. You'll be able to enjoy your vacation without ha having to be stuck in traffic all the time. And that makes it more fun. So just stay on this till you hit Moon Ridge Road. This is going to basically take you right into Walgreens for the most part. again big bear boulevard right there i'm just acting like uh big bear is packed right now but it, it's it's not i'm just showing you guys a much faster way and you don't have to speed on this road at all just go the speed limit because there are kids around here i know it seems like oh look at the trash can top just blew right in the middle, <laughs> middle of the road right there that was pretty cool but uh yeah Watch out for the kids, of course. All right, now here's 7-Eleven and Big Bear Boulevard again, and this is Summit Boulevard. To the right is Snow Summit. You can't see Snow Summit right now, but it is right there. There's a lot of stuff in the street blowing around. This is the Snow Summit satellite parking lot. It's called the Brownie Lot and there's nobody in there. Usually I would be doing donuts right now, but because my sway bar has had so many issues, I don't want it to snap right now. So I'm, I'm really disappointed that I'm too scared to do them. But yeah, we would go into this. And that's where you guys can practice your snow driving in there, guys. I'm telling you right now, that's what I did a lot up here. That's what I did a lot up here. And like you get to a point where you get complete control. It might not seem like it, but you really do once you learn learn the feel of it. Now we're back on Moon Ridge Road. Alright guys, 
Peace out. Hope you enjoyed it. I will upload it now. It's going to take forever, but I'll upload it. See ya.